the YouTubers. Thought we'd take a little closer look at the MS380 or the Hulsevarama G388. You know, I'd I'd love to take this. I'm I'm gonna. <clears throat> I am not taking this off. Um, and and be curious because this, like a lot of older steel saws, it has the choke in the air filter. <clears throat> rather than having it on on the uh, on the carburetor and these can give you a fit so I am I am not going to open it to look around it because I want this to be I, I want this to run even even once I, I want to like cut wood with it really bad uh, obviously <clears throat> but I did um, I did see right there where they have this fit perfectly I mean um, that's the little thing that kicks out and uh, and operates your flap and that is set up just right now on on the kit uh on on mine um these are notorious the aftermarket ones for having weak springs so uh you know uh as it gets up to speed high speed um the uh the spring has has trouble uh so i'm i'm gonna give it you know it's got it's got a uh the mushroom uh bin in it Um, they have it grounded uh, here I won't mind taking taking the side off. I just don't want to do anything that would affect it from cranking from cr cranking right up. They must use uh, air tools. To torque these screws down. Be careful! I don't want my arm to slip and knock the camera about.
I can see the boot, <clears throat> the boot clamp. It looks nice and secure. They've got the uh, kill wire going up through the the tube. That keeps it nice and neat. This has a great oiler on it. I mean, if you want to put you a long bar on there, put you 28 inches or something. It is totally capable. I tried to change my starter this afternoon. Somebody used Good Lord, they put so much torque on those bolts. I'm not sure I'll get them all. I was surprised to see this because on the kit, I mean, it's right behind it. And the only way you can, uh, when I say the only way, um, you can get in behind it, you know, and go to a lot of trouble. I mean, it's supposed to be where you can get to it. <clears throat> and this one is. So, I wonder if it's the handle they changed or, or what, you know, to, uh, to move that back out. But they got the muffler good and tight on there. Your screws are uh, right where they sh uh, needles, I should say, uh, in the screw should be, are, are right where they should be. I smelled a little, a little fuel. It might have been where that letter came from, you know, where they had to, they had to guarantee them that there wasn't any fuel in it, because, because you could tell it, <clears throat> which is, you know, which is great. I'm, I'm glad they uh, are sending them out.
There's a little oily, oily substance there. Paint's missing there. Oh, <gasps> no kidding. You see that? Let me go check. The, I'll be right back. Let me write that down and I'm going to go check it. I'm going to run the uh, serial number and see if it's a valid number. Be right back. No, that's their serial number. That's cool. That makes it authentic. That's put together really nice. All of it is. You know the the flat top I really like. I always thought the O thirty eight was a good looking saw. Well, the gas odor's coming from a little gas in the filter. That that tank's dry. When they guaranteed them that it didn't have any fuel on it, I'd say they did a good job.
and of course you got the uh, filter in place pick up Throttle works good. You know, like the 660 and let's see, what was a I think the 440 was a little heavier. The handle. And the, the 380, I think, was the heaviest handle, heaviest duty handle. Well, I'll see if I can't put a put a bar on it tomorrow. I've got a list of stuff to do, but surely I can make time. I'll, t I'll try. Okay, well, you've got a little closer look at it, and uh, it's, it's it looks great. I look forward to uh, seeing it run, and, and 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 you know when we we do see it run, remember it's never been cranked before, uh, has been tuned, uh, needs to you know needs to run some before you uh, really look at that. That's great graphics about the way the the uh, the choke and position and everything. You know, I've seen some of the, the uh, a few, not many, but the uh, aftermarket saws that I've seen are junk. Uh, these do not look like junk. These look like, I mean, if they was orange, it'd look like a, and of course, you know, not with that, uh, it looked like a steel. I wanted, well, that's why I bought the, uh, you know, the 380 kit was I wanted a 72 cc saw, you know, uh, uh, you got a, you got your 440, you know, uh, your uh, your 380, your 660, and uh, your 090 or 070, you know, whichever you want it to be, uh, and then maybe uh 270 or, or, or something, 260, something in that area uh, for, for the small saws, and it's covered. I mean, it's just, you know, you've got uh, a tool for whatever whatever job you, you need. 
because I like a I like it, you know, just me personally. For a 440, I think the the best bar lengths the uh, the 20, or if you can find it, a 22 maybe. Uh, but on this, you know, you can go uh, a 25, 28, uh, put you a 32 or 36 on your 660, and then put you a great big one on your on your uh, your fatty 07 or. Of course, that's not. You know, those are best strapped in a in a mill. Okay, well, um, I hope that you found this uh, helpful. Uh, good looking saw, uh, and I'm really, really, really excited about seeing it uh, run. Uh, you don't know how many times I've I've uh, I thought about that that kit that I built and. How many things I tried, uh, you know, to get it going, and there, there's uh, some some engineering flaw in it somewhere. Wish I knew how many of those kits they sold, because if I could figure out what's wrong, all those saws could come to life. Guys would dash out to their to their uh, saw uh, patch and remove it from the shelf and fix it, cut with it. Okay, more soon.